Can CGC detect foxing removal in page whitening? We're about to find out. Welcome to the Paper Chase channel. This one is special and informative. In this box here, we have the return of a Star Wars book from 1977 that is just in time for the Kenobi show. There's multiple reasons why I sent this out. One reason was it was an experiment. And that experiment, why am I still waving this around like a madman? You'll have your time. I wanted to see if I can remove foxing from a book and still get a blue label. This one I fast track because this is Star Wars issue two from 1977. This is the first appearance of Obi-Wan Kenobi. They got the book on April 6th checked in. So a couple of weeks after I sent it, so the turnaround time for me personally was nine days, eight to nine days, roughly, something like that. I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> so these are the questions that I want to hear from you guys. One is, do you think foxing removal and page whitening is considered restoration? Um, have you ever purchased a restore book? How do you feel about restore books? These are just kind of the questions that I want to start in the comments below because I think that they're extremely interesting on what we as collectors define as restoration. So let's get to the process. Before I even start, I want to give a huge disclaimer. I'm going to show you bits and pieces of what I did and then we will see the results together. The reason why this is not a how-to video is because I'm in no way, shape, or form a professional on these particular methods. So, without further ado, here is some footage of me starting the foxing removal process.
right, so there you saw it. Saw a little bit of the process and, uh, and how it works. I was thinking that if I would not have done the foxing removal on this book, it would have gotten a 7.5 to an 8.0 with just a standard clean and press. So tell me if you guys agree with that. But I was thinking that after I did the foxing removal that I could get this book to about a 9.0. That was my goal, 9.0, I'd be extremely happy with. And that is my main goal, is to try to hit a 9.0. So did it work? Is it a blue label? And is it a 9.0? Let's see how I did. <clears throat> Here we go. You gotta love these, right? Hopefully this goes better than my last couple CGC boxings. Uh, I'll put those at the end reel if you guys haven't seen those yet. Also, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, all that stuff. Instagram is paperchase underscore comics. Same thing for eBay, whatnot, all that stuff's below. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna end up stabbing myself in the face. Their packaging is excellent. Let's put this away before we hurt somebody. This is always a difficult part. See if I can figure out. We got the book, rubber banded. Uh, that could be right here. All right, so test number one did we get a blue label? Let's see. Invoice. Sorry. Still top left, right, left. Okay, invoice is gone. Okay, grade is covered. I believe, if not, it's gonna suck. It'll be funny. Did we get a blue label? Blue label. Bam, nice. Right, blue label? Yes, okay. Not looking at the grade. Jesus. Sorry, just trying to get this focused for you. All right, so we got the blue label. Accomplishment number one. This is the same book. I'm gonna show you the spine and you will see the spine ticks will match up. There we go. All right. So we have Star Wars 2, first appearance of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Did we hit a 9.0? Let's see. You got me. Did we hit the 9.0? 9.2. What? Uh, back's white. It looks really good. It does look really good. Uh, so let's see, we've got. Um, they definitely were not as hard on this as my last 35 books. Which, I mean, again, I'm not complaining about this. I'm extremely, extremely happy with this. But it just goes to show it just, I'm extremely, extremely happy with this. Now, one of the risks of using hydrogen peroxide is the fact that it can brittle the pages, depending on how long you leave it on, depending on the concentration that you're using. These look great. They don't look brittle whatsoever. There's no chipping, there's no cracking. Yeah, extremely pleased. So there you have it. Big thank you to Immaculate Comics and Big John uh, and their channels because they just, they really do provide a lot of great information. Again, do not take this as your how-to video. Go to who I learned from, which is those guys. They are the professionals. Um, I got lucky with this one uh, and we'll see how the other ones turned out when I get those back. Perfect timing, happy it came back in the time that it did. I'm really looking forward to how my other one grades. Uh, hopefully it's a 9.8, if it is, I'll lose my mind. But, love this. If you are interested in this book, when it goes up for sale, it will probably go to the Instagram first. So thank you guys so much again for checking out this experiment with me. Consider subscribing. Hit the like if you thought that this was a good video. And as always, Bleach Your Comics.